As I recalled my father's last words, I strode valiantly toward my destiny and vowed to return victorious. Spelunky. Starring the Sikh dude with the sweet mustache. It was September 21st, 2015. And Sikh dude with a sweet mustache descended into the mines to seek his fortune. He had heard rumors, whisperings, of riches below. He wasn't sure whether to believe them, but not even a hundred meters down, he found evidence of such things. Ancient pots, oftentimes home to poisonous spiders, but sometimes also home to precious gems. He could also see why he was one of the few who dared enter such an abominable place. Vicious bats, spiders, and green snakes attacked him upon seeing them, as if they believed instinctually that anything that walked on two legs must be the enemy, must be destroyed. Our hero was horrified to see a human skeleton lying on the ground. Even more horrified was he when the skeleton stood up and proceeded to attack him, doing some damage. Fortunately, though frightening, the skeleton was weak. And fell apart with a single lash of his whip. And what was this? But a canine companion, our hero found in the mines. He pushed him down a corridor to safety, and shortly he was behind him. 100 meters down into the mines. What more awaited him? $9,900 richer, he decided to find out. Among other kind of traps, our hero began to recognize head statues that would launch arrows from their mouths. Triggered perhaps by motion. As to avoid getting pierced by an arrow, our hero took to finding rocks and dropping them in front of the statue. He also began to recognize black spiders and purple spiders and how they differ. How one th threaded a web and the other simply sat on a ceiling, waiting for our hero to step treacherously below so that he could attack our hero. Our hero was also shocked to find a storefront down here in the mines, Jimbo's Clothing Shop. It seemed like a strange place for someone to begin any kind of entrepreneurial venture. But the items there were valuable to an adventurer and highly priced. 
he had a feeling that he wasn't the only one who had passed through here, as the human skeletons could also attest. Our hero found himself trapped. Needed to throw a rope in order to escape. Climb from this pit of despair. Another 300 meters down. And $16,700 richer. Our hero continued on his way. Atop a On the pre precipice of a terrifying cliff, cliff, our hero was able to look across and see two spiders dropping down in intervals as if to frighten and threaten our hero. He was able to deftly avoid them. And in, in another pit, Full of spitting snakes and other treacherous enemies, our hero found several hundreds of dollars worth of precious gems, and also a great gold key. Stumbling only a little further, he found the treasure chest for this key. It opened, revealing an artifact. Not knowing its, u its worth or utility, our hero decided to pocket it and take it with him on his journey. Another 100 meters down into the mine. Now $31,100 richer than when he started. Our hero foolishly attempted to throw an arrow in order to slay a spider, but unfortunately this arrow dropped down onto his head. It left a wound and drained him of some of his life energy. Bravely, though, he moved on. Whipping snakes and spiders just as spryly as ever. Our hero faced a new challenge. Oh, shoot. He was on the brink of death. He needed to find a way forward on his foolhardy quest. Should he turn back, rather than risk death? Nay. It was not in our hero's makeup to do so. So he continued on. He encountered another dog in distress, waiting to be rescued. In excitement, our hero dropped the stone he was carrying, but unfortunately managed to strike the dog directly in the face while doing so. The dog was knocked unconscious, but still grateful for our hero's services.
our hero led the dog safely through a passageway, another hundred meters down into the depths of the earth. Before him, he saw the end of the mines. And bizarrely, deep down in the earth was a lush jungle. Perhaps a, some sort of ruin of an ancient time. mysterious artifact that our hero obtained some time earlier had begun to come to life, flickering and clicking. But he did not know why it was doing this. What was the source of this disturbance? it up here? Our hero wondered. Or perhaps further down. Ah. Hark. The artifact was, in fact, a beacon. A device revealing the hidden location of a secret passageway, opening up a brand new area of the cave. Our hero emerged from the passageway to find a market full of goods valuable to a heroic explorer such as himself. Bombs were sold. Slaves were sold. Dogs were sold. But unfortunately, there was no glue. For our hero knew that glue and bombs were a deadly combination if one was seeking to rob a black market by killing everyone inside. Our hero threw a bomb, hoping to blow the entire black market to kingdom come. But unfortunately, the shopkeepers quickly reacted, firing their guns. One of the bullets hit our hero before he could make a move. And he was dead. Having spent some money on Acquiring bombs to pull off this robbery. He was sad. His corpse was sadly left with only $26,150. And so the journey ends for our hero. Other adventurers before him had not come as far, but they had left this world richer than he. It was a sad day. It was a sad day.